Welcome to Glitter Bus Style, and this is a review on Smashbox Lady. This is Smashbox LA Lights, featured at the makeup show way back in May. Her shade for summer and also transition for your fall season. I've been wearing this a lot because I don't really like to, you know, over do my makeup looks for the summer so this is very lightweight it's easy you know if you want to keep that natural glow for a little bit of summer season that's left so this shade is called Beverly Hills blush and it's just a great rosy pink it actually has that dewy feel so you get that natural glow effect and I love rocking it with a bronze shade um, as my foundation applicator. So I'm just gonna show you how I normally rock this look. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your face is clean. So make sure you use, you know, um, a face wipe or a cleansing towel that, you know, can get your face clean within minutes. And also make sure you use any type of moisturizer or hydration cream for your face, okay? So the first thing I like to do um, for the summertime is you know less is more so I stick to a nice concealer and uh, you know I apply it underneath my eyes and in my mid 30s so I have to make sure you know everything's intact so I like to apply it underneath my eye and a little um, above the cheekbone area just to give that natural highlighting awake look um, from there you want to make sure you, you use your brush and also use your fingers for a smooth um, application. From there, I like to add a little bit of highlight on uh, my forehead. Nothing too crazy, something that's very light in the center, just where my shine attracts. So, you know, I do a small amount of that and I like to also add that um, clean look also on my chin. And you know, let it spread a little bit to um, where your frown line um, ends. So uh, dab that with your fingers as well, and clean up those frown lines, which I hate. So I like to have that clean, sleek, fresh look. You know, dab there. Also, the cupid's bow area a little bit where the lip line uh, meets, just to also have a clean look. From that step. I am a bronzer person since foundation is not something that I'm big on for summertime. Uh, this is a bronzer that's from my um, cosmetics line, but it's not available. It's just an in-house product right now. So it has that bronzy effect. It also has um, trinkets of shimmer in it. So it's not overbearing that your face is going to be, you know, shimmer dazzle. It's just very low key which is really great for the summertime and you want to do a uh, C motion okay so you can start the C motion straight down to your uh, chin line and then work your way back up to your jaw line um, that's what I do those are the two strokes that I do uh, with my um, bronzer and then you want to take it and you know add your swipes either on your eyelids if you're not going to wear eyeshadow, I don't, and also throughout your nose and along the lip, just to, you know, spread that foundation that you're not applying. The next step is to add the cream stick blush, which is a very natural pink color, but it's a very natural color, and you want to do that along your cheekbones. I like to, as I apply the stick, I like to also use my hand because it's just an easier motion to really get the product in your skin and just to give more of a natural um, looking touch to it. If you want more effectively of that dewiness, then you know, you can apply another application and just spread it along the cheekbones, up, down, however much coverage you desire. So I've been wearing this as a blush, but you know you can also rock it as a lipstick. So this is how it looks. It's just a very frosty, nice pink shade. It really gives you that natural pop, taking from the day into night look. 
and really give you that, you know, flawless model diva look. If you really want to enhance it like I do, because I love that glossy, smooth texture, that extra, extra, I have to add a little dazzle and add a touch of a gloss effect. Uh, this is another great product. Um, it, this is Makeup Forever's um, gloss, and this is their Artist Flexi Gloss. I reviewed this before, but it just gives a matching color paint. This one is a little bit older, but it gives a natural blend with the um, Beverly Hills uh, blush. This gives a natural glow, and it all just works together. If you want to add your mascara after that, you're more than welcome to, but I just like to keep it natural for the summertime, nothing so crazy, just a nice natural dewy glow that looks elegant on long way. Okay, so that is the Beauty Buzz on Smashbox. Um, it's a great blendable blush. I love it as a blush. I love it as a lipstick. Um, it goes for 29 bucks. It's expensive, um, but you know, I always say this when it comes to certain products that are higher than, you know, your average drugstore brand or something that, you know, you're willing to use your heart, earn money for. Um, for me, $29 is worth it because it's two products and it's two colors that I could use for a lipstick and a blush. It's not like one is better, it's better than the other. It's both good. And the shade is something that's workable for all seasons. So you gotta play those uh, options up and really determine if it's something that you want to invest 29 bucks and uh, your makeup artist is ideal you know you, it's always good to build up your uh, beauty kit so it's uh, it's a keeper and I just love this so I'm definitely going to be rocking this for fashion because you know ladies that is slowly approaching me so expect some uh, good videos on that okay so for more beauty buzz and fashion tips you know where to find me always on my blog at glitterbuzz.com